okay guys good afternoon welcome back to our youtube channel this is miss henderson so today the students are doing vital signs and i'm going to make a small video about the vital signs go ahead giselle okay good morning Ms. Jones. i'm your cna for today i'm going to take your vital signs um, and check your id and your phone number and your name and your birthday date of birth and your school name and your school address 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 so the first thing I'm going to do, Ms. Jones, I'm going to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? Okay. okay. So I'm going to, I need you to unclose your legs and put your hand to the heart level. And I'm going to put, I'm going to get the right top. And I'm going to put side, no negative side, and take your blood pressure. So Giselle is using a manual uh, blood pressure, right, Giselle? Yes. Okay. Pulse oximeter. Guys, we create these videos to help students to, um, you know, just to help to increase their clinical skills. Disinfect everything. Okay, so do her temperature. And then we're gonna check your temperature. Now, like always, we wash our hands, we disinfect everything. Do her forehead. I'm gonna do your forehead. There you go. We're gonna make sure this part here is clean. Clean and dry. Clean and dry out of here. And so just press have, it. So we can have the accurate Good, very good. Over here says 97.3, which is normal. Good. The normal temperature <laughs> for the forehead is between 97.3 to 99. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to do the cold light. We have a, a folder or a chart. We're going to um, write those numbers just to make sure we have an accurate reading. We're also going to check the pulse. Radial pulse. The radial pulse. We're going to press two fingers. Very good. Okay, so her blood pressure is 65. 
five. I mean, it, the normal the normal number for an adult is between sixty and eighty, so you are sixty. Sixty to hundred, the 60, pulse. Sixty to hundred, but she's sixty-five. So she's six. It's normal. It's sixty-five normal. is normal. It's within those parameters. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna while I'm doing this, I'm gonna check the respiration. But you cannot tell your patient you're checking their respirations because it's going to alter the way they breathe. So you are going to silently play. Keep your hands on her radial pulse while you're observing the rise and fall of her diaphragm. And what is the normal respiration? 12 to 20. Okay, normal. And the last one for the vital sign is to ask her about the pain level from zero to ten. She has a lot of pain. Yes. So if, she, if your patient tell you her pain from a scale 0 to 10 is 10, what is your job as a CNA? My job is uh, to report. report it to the nurse and also to document. My yes. Patient. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thanks to Giselle. Please give this video a thumbs up for my CNA student, Giselle, for demonstrating the vital signs she did i think she did an excellent job um so thank you miss giselle so again if you like these types of videos and these types of content please consider subscribing to our youtube channel please drop your comments below the video and let us know what are the videos you want us to create um the channel is all about helping the CNAs, brothers and sisters out there, help them to pass Prometric exam because it's not easy for them. You know, they're struggling to, um, you know, studying and learning the concepts and so on and so forth. So these videos is just to help to deepen their understanding of the CNA content, the clinical skills, and the didactic, which is the theoretical skill. Um, again, this is on Prometric exam, checking the patient radial pulse and checking their respirations. Their blood pressure is not on the Prometric exam, just the radial pulse and the respiratory rate. So please practice, practice, and be competent for it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.